Today I'm here with a bare face to talk to you guys about the Clinique Cleansing Balm. No, that's not what it's called. Today I am here with a bare face looking real cute to talk to you about the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I bought this a few months ago and I thought I should give it a try. And um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube raving about it and as you all know, I like to take products that people rave about, test them out and see if it's truly worth the hype. And the answer for this one is yes and no. As I'm talking, I'm going to do a demo of me just removing my makeup with this and I'm gonna talk to you about reasons why I do and don't like it. Reasons I love it. I love that it's a balm. I love that it's very easy to just get out of the container quickly. You just dip your finger in it, swipe it all over your face, rub it in, rub it all around your face, and then you just wipe it off with a towel, which that's, that's what I like about it. I like that it's very easy. It's not a lot of fuss. I literally just grab it and then remove it. It's a lot, it's a little, like one more step more difficult than makeup remover wipes because it's not just like a wipe that you move, but I don't like makeup remover wipes because they burn my face. I don't know what that is, but they like, I don't know if it's a material that the wipe is made out of, but it just does not work for me very well at all. Ease. I like that it makes my skin feel really soft, really clean. I feel like it gets all of the makeup off. I mean, literally every stitch of the makeup off. It's so great for that. I absolutely love this. There's only one thing I don't like about it, and maybe this is just me. Um, I've never heard this before, but maybe you guys can kind of clue me in. It burns my eyes, and what, that's really crappy because it removes my eye makeup really well. Like I had a bunch of black, as you can see, before this started, and it removed it all. Like I mean, my eyes are basically bare right now, and. I love that it can remove every stitch of my eye makeup, even mascara, like you just rub it in and like rub your eyelashes and it just removes it all like a dream. But for a couple hours after using it, my eyes are watering. So I can't use this in the morning because then my makeup will be watering all day. So I can use this before bed, but my eyes will be watering all night. So. It's not something that I notice when I'm sleeping, but still, it's very irritating. So, other than that, I really like this. I feel like it would be suitable for all skin types because it's just a cleansing balm. Um, would I repurchase? Yes? It's hard for me to say. I even thought about, like, after this container is gone, I might just fill this up with coconut oil because, essentially, coconut oil is the same thing. Now, coconut oil does sort of leave a residue on your skin after you wipe it off because it is an oil. This is a balm, so it's not quite an oil. So would I repurchase this again? Yes. What do I give it? I give it an 8.9 out of 10 because of the eye burning factor. Other than that, I love this. So maybe you don't have as sensitive eyes as I do. I didn't realize they were sensitive until I bought this. Essentially, coconut oil does the same thing, so if you're looking for a way cheaper alternative because you get a way bigger amount for way less, then check out my video on coconut oil as a face makeup remover and I'll post that in the description of this video. Keep in mind, it was slightly a fail. It was not the coconut oil's fault. It was totally user error. So that's it for this video. You guys got bare faced me, but I hope you guys enjoy and if you were looking to find out if the Clinique take the day off, ta. <sighs> If you were looking to find out if the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm was for you, then you got this quick review to know, is it worth it? I think it's like $28. Do you think that's worth $28? I love the packaging. Do I want to pay $28 for packaging? No. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos most every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And maybe some more are coming up here soon, but we'll never know. Also, if you would like to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, and Tumblr, and all the social media links, description of this video, just click on them or go to them and follow me on those because I post often on pretty much all of them. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you at my next video. Bye.